Good morning to all traders and welcome to today's Market Insights video. Today is Thursday, the 18th of July. WTO, the World Trade Organization, has said that um, U.S. tariffs on Chinese goods do not comply with its rules. Mr. Trump formally uh, expelled Turkey from F-35 program after um, Turkey uh, took delivery of uh, Russian air defense system despite the U.S. objections. Sterling traders at the same time are becoming a bit more um, fearful of a chaotic Brexit following obviously as well the, the previous uh, this week's unemployment uh, disappointment as well as the CPI disappointment. So that's um, telling us that there is more room to the downside for the pound and also Japanese exports falling for the seventh consecutive month. Of course, that is the effect of a uh, lingering trade war. On the economic calendar today, we expect retail sales from the UK, the Philadelphia Fed Manufacturing Index, initial jobless claims, Mr. Bostick and Mr. Williams to speak. And something that is not on the calendar as well is the uh, South Africa interest rate decision, uh, which are likely to cut the rates. So for that reason today, I am going to talk about dollar and the South African rand, as well as I'm going to talk about pound yen. Okay, starting with the dollar uh, South African rand, we've had a um, correction down here on the daily chart around 11.53. Since then, we saw an impulse upside uh, with a top at around 15.7. Since then, we saw a correction. And now, my analysis says that we're either going in an ABC correction, another one, right, with a low being uh, completed or likely to compete a little bit lower, and then going up for wave C or wave three. We'll see how that pans out. But I am bullish in the medium to short term. Short to medium, excuse me. So in the four hour chart, since we broke outside the channel, we are again in a completion of an ABC correction. Okay, we had one uh, and two A and B uh, completing, and now we are actually looking whether wave C has completed over here, which is the two Fibonacci extension, or is it going to go lower at 2.61? That would allow prices to move to the deepest Fibonacci retracement around 13.6 and even lower for a false break before we start heading up. In validation level, there were 13.22. On the one hour time frame, uh, if we drew a trend line down here, we are really seeing prices now breaking above, okay? so. In case after these five wave to move to the downside, okay, and the uh, bullish uh, bias, in case we break above that level, uh, we're looking at going up to complete wave C or wave three, okay? But we would most likely want to see this uh, as, as a very, very good breakout, uh, a, retracement, uh, a retracement to, uh, for a retest and then move up higher. And this is for the dollar um, South Africa run. On pound yen now, we'll be talking about this as an uh, ABC correction, okay, after ending that level on the daily chart. Uh, we are seeing a hidden divergence and also we are completing in the shorter time frame a, uh, another hidden divergence, uh, a bullish divergence here and a hidden bullish divergence in here. Okay, since we're on an ABC, we assume that, right? We have completed wave A, wave B, and we're looking to complete wave C. We are pro most likely looking at prices ending, completing this wave at 133.24 or so, which is the 200.618 extension of wave A. So there is more room to the downside, if you ask me, yes. How I see this happening? Well, obviously, after this move to the upside, we're looking at wave A, then A, B, and C ending down here, okay? Now, wave C, of course, uh, apologies, that should be here, it's okay. One, two, 
34, we're looking at the last wave, okay? And we've had a, a triangle pattern here, and that likely looks to me like it's gonna be a throwback, okay? Once we get to that level, all to be honest, anywhere between here, we could start seeing the correction. What we prefer to see is uh, RSI remaining above that level because we would be able to get a nice divergent signal. So we want to see that remaining above the 2144, uh, which means still we have from nine to one, we have another eight points on the RSI to move lower before the tends a little bit more dovish, let's say, more bearish. And on the one hour, and there isn't much more to, to uh, actually uh, distinguish in here. We've got uh, a nice signal that is likely to uh, still continue being uh, visible even if prices move a little bit lower down, okay? And I wouldn't be surprised if that happened. That looks like it could be an open triangle pattern, okay? And we could move, start moving higher up. Of course, uh, in validation level uh, for this, there is still room to move to the downside, okay? Uh, until at least 133 or so, 132 maybe even. And what we would want to see actually is the break uh, of prices above 134.60, 61 first, and then of course 136. And if we get above that level, then we really look in at a very nice impulse to the upside. So I wanna thank you for watching for another day and I want to remind you as always to keep an eye on our blog is where we'll cover the latest news, publish trading ideas and provide all the necessary tools traders need.